today, I'm getting to combine two of my favorite things, motorsports and photography. And Genesis has given me the new GV80, and there's no rules. I just need to go on a photo mission, choosing my own route, choosing my passes I want to go over, and arrive at one of the most special places on Earth to me, Pikes Peak. And the other side of it, I'm not doing it on my own. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Riley. Welcome to the ranch. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. <laughs> nice ride from the airport. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yours isn't bad yourself. <laughs> well, the next 24 hours, we're on a photo mission. I mean, a little different than my normal trip to Pikes Peak, because normally I'm getting there as quick as I can and take a few pictures along the way, mm -hmm. but this is dedicated to photography, and I'm going to send you on a separate route from me. You know me, I like the dirt, so I'm going to go back road to get uh, over there, but I'm going to send you over Independence Pass, and that's over 12,000 feet, so that'll be a pretty fun trip for you. And Perfect day, trees are changing, great time of year to do it. Perfect. On a typical advertising job, certainly when I'm shooting television commercials and things, you know, there's uh, required angles on the cars because you're working with a huge crew. You know, today I'm out driving by myself in a car and somewhere out there is Riley. We both have the same assignment, we both have the same destination but how we get there will be completely different. So we're just uh, shooting a motor drive sequence, basically, of the car coming through here, keeping this foreground in there. I'm using the foreground here as a pan blur, kind of getting everything to kind of blur around it. This is the first time I've kind of looked at the photographs of how the chrome strip around the windows kind of creates a linear sweeping line to the car. It's been cool to kind of see how that plays out in photography. This canyon is just so big and it's like a big horseshoe. And it's kind of our only spot to get snow-capped mountains. Uh, i do some adjustment on the car though. I want to get a little more profile. Kind of get it more at this angle. I think growing up in the film industry as I did, um, I I've just been around filmmakers my whole life and working as a stuntman and stunt driver, you know, around a lot of DPs who set up some amazing shots that I'm usually in, but it it's just hard not to be interested in photography and filmmaking. It's just cool, there's like all these rocks in the foreground and in the background with the trees and the cliff. You don't even see that it's on a road. It's just like a shiny object amongst a bunch of like chaos kind of, it's cool. One of the photographs uh, is just one of my favorites. It was on a really cold winter day. My brother and I and my friend Aaron, we were surfing Zuma Beach in Malibu. It was pouring rain, it was a thunderstorm, and the waves were perfect. And I took a photo of my brother standing on the beach with his board, but he was holding his board, so you don't see him. You just see his arms wrapped around the board. And just the, the setup of the shot, the composition of it, it just like one of those shots that just, just happened and later on realized how much I loved it. Uh, yeah, man, came around the corner and saw this cliff face and then I noticed the mountain climbers. We have some like scattered clouds and stuff so whenever the sun pops through the red metallic on the paint just pops and I think that might be my favorite shot so far. The design language of this new GV80, the first SUV from Genesis, this car almost creates mirrors that look in multiple directions and as they do it almost creates extra movement around the car. I transition from a perfectly smooth road onto a gravel road here and I still feel like I'm in a luxurious position. It's got a good feel, it's got a good feedback, it's got good turn in. Look at this location, I mean we're surrounded by peaks, a great windy gravel road and this road is going to take us into the backside of Crested Butte and through some magical areas. It's going to grab gear, stuff fairly wide angle lens because this is about the environment. We've got peaks all the way around us. Genesis has drawn from the design community from all over the world with people with lots of different backgrounds with different manufacturers. So you see those influences carried through this, both not just on the exterior, but in the interior of the car too. Kind of taking the best of it and putting it into one vehicle. Doing a lot of sun driving, steering wheel is very key and very important. The center of the steering wheel kind of matches a lot of the stuff in here. It's the same width as like, the dash um, where all the you know instrument cluster is it's the same shape as the screen which is kind of rare this screen this wide is i've never really seen before
We just found a place along the road here where the road is completely lined with white aspen trees and it's just a really great contrast and great reflections in the car. Anytime you can get nature playing against sheet metal, it's a pretty cool photograph. I had the honor of uh, photographing Michael Schumacher at one point and we put him in a chair and had him sit in that chair as if he was sitting in his race car and it was a pretty special photograph. Uh, I was really honored to get the time to photograph him. It's kind of interesting, the racing side of what I've done has really developed me as a photographer. And as a photographer, you know, it's really developed my racing. So both things kind of feed each other in an interesting way because you know, I turn into a corner, I'm driving it on the absolute edge and I'll think, hey, that would lo look good in a photograph. Closer, 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 closer. I haven't really gotten anything in motion yet. Just want to get some dust and some, just some atmosphere going, so. Good old minivan gets us to moving shot. We definitely got some dust. It's nice when we come around that corner, it gets all bright and cool reflections. I want to do the same thing, but just faster. Uh, all right, I'm good. Just nice to mix it up from all the static stuff we've done all day. Oh yeah, we're good. Thanks guys, teamwork. We just checked in with Jeff and he is about two hours behind us. I thought we were behind the whole time. So we're on our way now to Colorado Springs and then from there up to Pikes Peak for sunrise. I mean, this is very different than what we've got. Could be cool to just stand up and kind of get like a top three quarter, but like standing up through the sunroof. We've driven all night. It's been a, a long drive, a lot of shooting, but we're officially pulling into Pikes Peak. To be here with Jeff for the first time for me is, is definitely the coolest part about this trip, so I'm super excited to be here. For the most part, every car I've raced at Pikes Peak has been turbocharged. So having these turbocharged motors, the four-cylinder car with 300 horsepower, and I'm in the V6 with uh, 375 horsepower, uh, definitely enhances the experience and gives you the power that it's going to take to get up at 14,115 feet at the top of Pikes Peak. We're finally making our way through a lot of the switchbacks and it's starting to look like Pikes Peak. It's just unbelievable. The rocks and all, you know, there's, there's no trees up here, so it's just this amazing orange rock. You made it! You beat me! <laughs> I wasn't, I mean, hey. You had a longer run, so it's, Okay, it's... I'll take that. <laughs> well, this is the place. This is where I've raced for 18 years, and it's always magical. And, we even got here in time for the sunrise. Can't awesome. believe you've never been up here before. I know. That's awesome. Yeah, no better first time. I was really drawn to some of the details and it was interesting to see the way the chrome had highlighted certain shapes within the car against the blue bodywork of it and then to take it and shoot it against these abstract backgrounds that were created by nature. So that combination of things I really enjoyed photographing. We definitely have a few money shots. The first one, uh, straight off from Jeff's property, we went up the road two miles and it just opened up to this amazing valley. The second shot is just a little more abstract and a little different. Another one that was really cool was big sheer rock cliff and saw two mountain climbers. And just really wanted to get that as like a nice backdrop because it was just so different than anything we'd seen so far. That last shot was the two cars against the backdrop and a backdrop that only Pikes Peak can provide. It's the switchbacks, the amazing iconic switchbacks. And to see that as a backdrop, have Riley's car, my car sitting together and photograph it, it was a great way to end this project. Whole 24 hours of a lot of driving and a lot of shooting and to, to end it here with Jeff and then hop in the car with him and cruise up Pikes Peak was just perfect.